Jagdish Bhagwati's theory of kaleidoscopic comparative advantage is important and depends on the fact that many consumer products have limited life cycles. He says that differentiator products like consumer electronics undergo a three-stage process of growth. Stage one is the new product stage. The product is produced and consumed in the origin country, most likely a developed country, in order for the firm to observe the market response and because of protection from the relevant patent laws. The comparative advantage at this stage is in the developed country. Now in stage two, the maturing product stage, more and more firms replicate the product. Mass production is utilized and we observe increased homogeneity. Think of the original iPad versus the other Samsung, Sony, and other HTC ripoffs that took to the market in just a few years. As the product becomes homogenized, firms start looking for low-cost locations. By stage 3, the standardized product stage, competition is very intense and the lowest cost producer wins. Offshore manufacturing, via foreign direct investment happens. Now remember, we assume that capital does not flow internationally in Ricardian trade theory. The comparative advantage is now transferred and enjoyed by the developing country transferred from the developed country. Kaleidoscopic comparative advantage holds, therefore, the comparative advantage is dynamic and will move across borders and time. The, this product reaches the end of the three-stage cycle in this step. This means that countries must always be on their toes and come up with new and better products in order to retain CA. It's also pretty optimistic as far as economics goes. The maturity and standardization stage allows low-cost LTCs to gain a comparative advantage in products developed in developed countries and, explain, and earn export earnings to drive growth, leveling the playing field. This is seen in China, where, which makes more than 50% of the world's cameras, 30% of the air conditioners and televisions, a quarter of the washing machines and a fifth of all refrigerators, all of them formally differentiating the products that have reached the end of their life cycle. To quote Bhagwati, Comparative advantage is kind of like a knife edge, where one day I have comparative advantage, the next thing you win Y, and tomorrow it may be the other way around, and then back again. A sort of musical chess in a way.